Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the signs and the symptoms that our body gives us if we will have the high level of cholesterol in our body. It's very easy to detect, just you have to be concerned what's going on inside the body. In this, the first symptom is if you are having a bad digestion. If there is any of the problem with the digestion, this means the level of LDL, that's the bad cholesterol, have increased in the body. So you have to check it. And if it's happening for a long time, it's better to have a test of uh, cholesterol in the body. The second symptom is also related with the digestion. It's if you are having lots of bloating or formation of gas or bleaching a lot, this all things are happening. It means that this is because of the high LDL in the body. If the LDL are high, the HDL will by itself can decrease. So if these things will happen, they will hinder in the digestion of the food and the formation of the toxins will happen. What are toxins? Toxins are just the undigested food that remains for long in our body. So the food will not be getting digested in a good way and this will cause the indigestion. First thing, second thing, it can cause bloating or it can cause the formation of the gas inside the stomach. The third one is the classical one. If there are white spots formation under the eye, there are lots of white white spots in the form of pimples. This means that you have to check for your cholesterol. It is very much related to the cholesterol in our body. So if it's happening, go and have an analysis of this. The fourth symptom is about the chest pain or you are having any of the discomfort in the chest area. If this is happening, it can be because of the bad cholesterol. The fifth symptom is that you are every time feeling tiredness. You don't have the energy to work. If this is happening, this means that the body is not able to take the vitamins and minerals from the food that we are eating and that's why you are not feeling so fresh, so energized. So if this is happening, then also it's time to check your cholesterol level. Because why it's happening? It's happening because again, it's all with the metabolism. If metabolism is not good, body is not taking all this stuff and your body is not getting vitamins and minerals. This is happening, you have to change your lifestyle, you have to reduce your cholesterol for sure. The another symptoms are head pain. If you are having constantly head pains and you are feeling like fog in the brain, this can be because of the high cholesterol in the body. One of the most important sign is when you start feeling numbness in your limbs. This means the finger of your hands and the fingers of your feet. If you are feeling there also like numbness or you are not feeling them so properly, this can be because of the high level of cholesterol in the body. Now why this is happening, how cholesterol is related to the numbness in the hands and the feet? Because if the LDL, that's the bad cholesterol in the body will high, this contracts the blood vessels. So if there will be the contraction of blood vessels, then the blood flow will be less. And it's not only with the blood vessels, actually it's with the nerves also. So the blood vessels will be contracted, the nerves will be contracted and you will feel the numbness in the hands or in the feet. So if this is happening, you have to check your cholesterol in the body. And the last one is the classical one, if you are gaining the weight. If you are getting fat in the body, this means it is because of the bad liver functioning, it's bad metabolism. And why it's happening? It may be because of the high cholesterol because if the cholesterol will be high, it will give the effect to the liver also and causing the accumulation of the fat in our body. So these are the signs. If you are having two or three of this, it's better to go and check for your cholesterol. How to reduce cholesterol? I will tell you in my another video. It's very easy. It's not so hard. It's not a disease, it's just the imbalance of our body. So how to decrease the cholesterol? There is no magical pill that you will eat and it will be balanced. It's only by following a good and a healthy lifestyle. There are many herbal treatments. There are many home remedies. I will share with you in my next video. Do this, but be ready to do exercises. Be ready to wake up in the time, to sleep in the time. If you are not going to do this, I'm sorry to say it's very hard to treat it. 
or it will be not treated. You are welcoming more diseases in your body. I hope you are watching my videos so you follow all this. Stay happy, stay healthy.